Hello and so welcomes back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Fallout 4, beginning a new session now. Where we last left off, we were crossing over from Cambridge, passing the wreckage of the USS Riptide and dealing with some raiders there, about to hopefully enter Diamond City, which we have meant to go to for quite some time now. I'm finally getting myself round to it. You may notice, well, I'll tell you straight up, I have a few more bottle caps, I went around and played with uh, my settlements a little bit more. I think there's now 12 people, oh, 10, I think I'm sure there's 12 people in Sanctuary. It's not showing that at the moment, but I'm sure there's 12 people there. Six people in Ten Pines Bluff, and the Abernathy Farm's the same as usual. But I basically ran back to my settlement, sold all my miscellaneous goods, bought some more um, like raw materials, and then came back here, picked up all the weapons I'd left behind. Like, kind of up on that little uh, cargo container. And I also ran back through Cambridge a little. Basically visited some of the areas I'd been to before, like the police station, College Square. I killed a couple of bloatflies, and apart from that, I was just picking up a load of random junk, like cafeteria trays and coffee cups, just for the ceramic and aluminium and all that jazz. Just basically because I knew I would need some more raw resources at some point in the future when I want to play Minecraft again with my settlements. And yeah, we're on our way now to actually continue the main storyline. So if you think you may have missed anything between obviously part 22 and this part, which is obviously part 23, it's me running backwards and forwards. I haven't really discovered anything new. One thing I would mention though is when we were doing the Wicked Shipping a uh, place up here? Wicked Shipping Fleet Lockup. We did unlock uh, two new map locations, which I did mention, and then totally forgot to look at the map of whereabouts they were. One was the Mass Something, and one was actually General Atomics. And looking on the map, Map Fusion Containment. Obviously that's where some items were being transferred. I can't remember what it was, what was being transferred over there. And of course we have a General Atomics factory over here. Now I did mention when we were doing Wicked Shipping that from a little bit of research, um, kind of spoiling it for myself, I think this is where the Strength Bobblehead is. Somewhere around here. Which is where I may want to go in the future. Also I don't know when we got Malden Center. I think we did see that in the distance though because this is kind of where the... When we're helping Onistan out, around this area was where the caravan was ambushed by the Covenant. So I think we saw that in the distance. And of course the bad TFL was... We learned that location from Operation Winter in Cambridge Police Station. But either house, getting sidetracked. Let's um, get on our way to Diamond City. Places Those places we'll visit in the future. I may want to switch over, hi, switch over to my suit and my destroyer's helm, just for a bit more charisma, because there may be some actual dialogue coming up that we may want to pass. I have no idea, but until we get into the city properly, let's just keep our armor on, play it a little safe. More gunfire. Diamond security versus... Help them out, might help us, um, might endear us.
justice for you. There you go. Well, things we can sell at least. Recoil compensated hard and sniper. See if they have anything to say. Damn, not afraid of mutants, huh? You're our kind of gal. Nice. How to get into Diamond City then? Oh well, there's a big arrow here. <laughs> Looking for Diamond City? Just follow the signs. Thanks. We can help ourselves too. It's probably been uh, scavenged already, but worth checking out. It's very dark. I'm playing this uh, mid afternoon and it's actually rather sunny for once. So, apologies if I miss anything. The sun's slightly shining on my screen. I notice actually, um, while on the USS Riptide, the ship that was downed on the bridge there, there was, I think, another Wasteland Survival Guide um, notice, which I helped myself to, and I f can't remember what it did, but it wasn't. There was another guide on that uh, ship I ended up picking up. You're all sort of meeting with an explosive, aren't you? You are. Let's not go that way just yet. Let's just go to Diamond City. Getting ourselves distracted. Inventory, apparel. That's it. Keep moving, Scather. Well, that's not very nice. <coughs> Diamond City is the place to live, I tell ya. You made the right choice coming here. Thanks. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry. Porter? But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. <sighs> you open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> I can wait all day, Danny. Open up. Okay, so Piper the Reporter. I guess there's a story there, which we'll find out in a moment. Let's do a little bit more exploring first. It's actually, literally Diamond City. Not as big as I thought it might be, but it is pretty well protected. Pretty he heavily secure. And the stealer must have um, taken actually build that. Oh, one of you again. Murdered by raiders? Oh, hello. Oh, an advanced terminal. I wonder if this allows us control to the turrets and such. Either way, come on and let what's the story? Hi. You. 
You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. What? Who are you? Shh. Lay along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City, what is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. You've been stuck in the rain far too long. You're absolutely soaked. Or maybe that's just my bad Piper, graphics. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? This really isn't any of my business. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> no. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Mm. An infant boy. Kidnapped. Did you say kidnapped? Well, McDonough, Diamond City Security can investigate this. How about all the other kidnapping reports you no, Don't heard? listen to her. Well... I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen. Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down. Usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. Right. Go to Valentine's Detective Agency. So, welcome to Diamond City. Already, I have a bad feeling about this place. Apparently, does not does not just my um, son who's been kidnapped. Of course, my son was kidnapped. Mm. 
I'm guessing, I'll tell you what, I'm going to come out and see it now. I don't know for sure, because obviously I haven't really looked into any of the story. I'm going to see it now. We were frozen after Sean was kidnapped again. I am sure Sean's probably grown up by now. He's probably an adult. And we're looking for a baby boy who isn't going to be quite so small anymore. Just, that's my fault. Otherwise, why would we have been cryogenically frozen again? Obviously, remember the guy with the scar down his left eye from when we were frozen. So I'm going to be obviously keeping an eye out for him. But he's probably grown older as well. Hi! So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I wasn't lying. I got a whole supply train coming in tomorrow. Is that right? No bull? Well, if that's the case, let me put a down payment on some parts for the gate. Here you go. Anyway, welcome <coughs> to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Oh, I feel like a dick. <laughs> oh well, let's leave before he, um... Inside. Yeah. Uh, before he realizes we totally lied to him. A mysterious visit to the Diamond City killed several people. It was only after he was shot dead by city security that the stranger was revealed to be a synth. The people of the Commonwealth have feared the Institute ever since. Okay. That was in 2229. Let's have a look at our missions again. We have Story of the Century and Valentine's Detective Agency. I think that's Piper there. I'm guessing. Are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks, and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <gasps> That's Piper and her sister. Public occurrences. Obviously, we can pop our head there. In control of Diamond City. Read the public. What's up there? Colonial Tap House. A lot of bars, noodle lamb um, places. Itchy ears. Oh. Hairdressers. <laughs> Slightly distracted. The Diamond City Market. Okay, so we've been told to find this Nick Valentine. Let's have a little bit of exploring first. Uh, this is like the print room. The synthetic truth. Okay. The synthetic truth by Piper Wright. Noodles, we all eat them. Love them. Time since power rules was shipped supplied the systems for the past 15 years. From the still the mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese to the fragrant steam of that rafts from each bowl to the scalding tang of the delicious mouthful. I was struck by this very question as I sat of power noodles last Wednesday night, enjoying a dinner that I'd had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own mayor sidle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago on an uncharacteristically warm May evening as it sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles when the boss served not noodles but ice-cold nuka colas, frothy beers and stiff shots of risky. The barman's name was Henry. And that night he facilitated the shared human experiences of drinking, smoking, talking and laughing. That is, until the, stra the tragedy struck. There are many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening. Although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have. Had they not have been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor McDonald's anti-ghoul degree of 2282. But there was one person among us who does remember, distinctly, the events of that evening. The respected matriarch, Eustace Harthorne, who recounted her story in a public occurrences exclusive interview. 
Sitting right at the bar, as it's sitting in front of me right now, 22 years old or so, and it's looking to have a good time. I was safe behind a wall. We all were. So feel free to pause and read this. I'm just giving it a skim. You stay sing continued her account that evening, the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. We'd been drinking and carry on, must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time, he seemed a bit drunk I guess, like the rest of us. Then something sort of happened. He was smiling but the smile sort of went from his face in an instant, and then his cheeks started twitching, kind of funny. And I remember watching him as clear as, it ha as if it happened yesterday. He reached inside his coat and took out a revolver. He shot Henry the barman right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. The famous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effort effortlessly infiltrate human society. Unknown to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans, also now known as synths. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot the three or four other people. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The gods came running and they opened fire. Mr. Carter just kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those gods put him down. Seems like they had killed the man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy, and he lay there like a dead man, sure enough. But then we saw the plastic in the metal. This was one of them early synths, you see, and we all realised there wasn't a man at all. That's when we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested that he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still others felt he had simply malfunctioned and it was never meant to kill anyone. But at that time, the why hardly seemed important. All that mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organisation whose intentions and motives were still are, were, which were and still are, a complete mystery, using a model of synth less advanced than the ones Institute has in service today. Which brings us to the noodles. Specifically, the noodles consumed by Mayor McDowell last Wednesday night, in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synth went haywire. After spending hours sharing the experience that people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race, they were wrong. Huh. That's an entrance into pu public occurrences. Oh, we can't steal. Let's not steal. Let's not do that. Okay. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. <clears throat> well, hello there. Another one of the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? Wow. Huh. There are no words. I don't care for your tone. Why don't you run along before I make a complaint with security? I miss basking in your delightful personality. Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. Well, that's good. Remind me to shoot you later. Security's this way. Good to know. What else is around here? Oh. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah. I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. 
They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the synths. Well, thank you. Is that going to send me somewhere? Oh, sorry, you were going to talk to me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. We're just picking up more and more missions. We are. Okay. If we want a history lesson here, we can talk to Abbott then. Good to know. Guessing this is going to be where Abbott is up here. Maybe not. Is it dead end? No, no. Kellogg's house. Need to be a master lock picker to get access, though. Was this like an old, like a stadium? Must must be. Yeah, I could I could see this as being a, like an old stadium. Baseball, football, I don't know. I don't visit many stadiums unless I'm going to like say a rock and metal gig. Hi. You read the paper? Damn sense. Hiding among us. Is that the mayor? It is. What are you doing just standing up there? Oh. Everybody, Sleep. everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at sins, and other ghost stories to drive us apart. We will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the anus allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Are we all are we all done with this meeting now? Oh nope, looks like we're all done with the meeting. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. I wasn't gonna talk to you anyway. So a word with him again, see what he has to say. I'd love to talk, but I have matters to attend to. Uh-huh. You Abbott? You are. Don't touch the paint. What? Why? This is the wall. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. Least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? What do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. 
Security says they can't handle him. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Uh, I have my own things to do, but sure, why not? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. I don't mind helping out, and I'm guessing it's a uh, baseball <laughs> going by the uh, scoreboard here. He's got his uh, wax on, wax off technique. Right, can't really steal anything here. Don't really want to be near that robot just because it's playing. Diamond City surplus, everything you need. Take the whole bricks A shotgun bridge. I hear you talking, but it's through a wall. Can't believe you eat that food. Hey, there's a bar on the Only one thing worth buying is dug out in. Combat zone. All these conversations going on. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. There we go. Okay, fine. Schoolhouse. Hi. You there? You need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Hey, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. <laughs> right, little Miss Smarty Pants? If you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? It was America's pastime. A sport that united families on warm summer days. And it wasn't violent. Mostly. I like my version better. Now, <coughs> can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? I'll let's, take a look. Sure. Let's Jennifer see what you've got. Honor. <laughs> He's just Bob wired one of them. Sure. Baseball grenade? Awesome. Bl mm hmm. Tempting. I, could, I was tempted to actually do that myself. You need a um, blacksmith too. to actually blade a um, baseball bat. Rockfill Slugger. 40% 40, 40 less action point cost. That's respectable. Don't like the damage on it, though. Ah, uh, we'll pass. Are you okay? So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Oh dear. Can we buy one for you then? Commonwealth hey, weaponry? You're the new girl, right? The new girl? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Let's see what you got. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. Wow. Oh, this is one of those, um, the fat boys, isn't it? Nuclear launcher. Shoots an additional projectile. Nice. A <laughs> boxing glove. Kinda tempting. In fact, yeah, why not? We'll grab a boxing glove. Cry yourself, but we don't have to cry out later. And to be honest, unless I really go down the lock um, smithing, we're probably never gonna unlock it. A flamethrower? <sighs> that would be really cool. 
I would like to have a flamethrower. I might have to actually play this game again just to build myself around using the flamethrower. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's the and the pyrotechnic inside of me. Anything else of interest? Let's have a look here. Old Faithful. It's a laser weapon. Does double damage if the target is at full health. Okay. Plasma cartridges. We haven't found any plasma guns yet, but they are apparently energy weapons as well that do more damage than their laser equivalent. Ooh, power armor. Oh, the power armor frame. <clears throat> Sorry, two moments there. Sorry about that. I was choking. Puncturing sledgehammer. Nothing really... Ooh, super sledge. Hi! 95 damage. Obviously, swing speed is low, but it's probably the most powerful melee weapon I've encountered so far. Hmm. Tempting. Hawking cane. Uh, what can I do to a walking cane? In fact, I'm going to buy it just so I can find out what I could do with it. Anything I can sell you? I'm sure I probably have some weapons. Just scrolling back up. Let's make sure I don't sell him any of my armor by mistake. There we go. Uh, what do you have? You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. One statue of Diana impression coming up. Good. Good. Now just to answer me one simple question. Are you human? Because I will not serve a synth. No, I'm Jangles. The moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do. Ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. <laughs> but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business are you running here anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. You're a little bit crazy. Let's see what you have. Odds and ends. Anything and everything. What do you sell? Odds and ends. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, we'll sell some. Well, we'll buy some random items that have copper and such. I always like the... the the raw materials I think I may need, like uh, oil, especially oil, come to think of it. Another fusion core would be tempting. Let's see if anything's standing out. Pencil, we need a pencil. Try to get some more lead just to give ourselves some more radiation protection. Maybe later on in the game. Got anything else of interest? Ooh, Wastelander's chest piece. We already have the um one of the legs, don't we? Plus one agility, plus one perception. Not bad. What am I wearing at the moment? What is my chest piece again? It's got more energy resistance. 
And I could probably upgrade this, I imagine. It's studded leather and it has biocom mesh. Which I think gives it more energy air protection. Might not be worthwhile in that case. Oh well. We'll leave for now. Is anyone else like... Some custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Tell me a joke. Yes? <laughs> I see. I need to uh, buy a Nuka Cola from somewhere. You been to Good Neighbor? Friggin' hole. Ghouls and chemheads all over. Okay. Good Neighbor. Where's that? Oh. Good to know. Oh, well, I'm sure I've got. S Hello. Hey, Scaver. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. I'll take a look. Sure. Check out these cuts. Uh -huh. Do you have any Nuka Cola? You don't. Never mind then. Nice pip boy. Thank you. Hey there. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall, so don't get chummy. Mm, very nice. The residents here are wonderful. Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. Hmm. So yeah, well, obviously we need to go pop into Valentine's Detective Agency. Go see Piper once again. Actually, there's a lot of things we can do here. Which is why I was scared about walking in the Diamond City. Kind of like an overload of information. What do we want to do first? And... Keep away from you. You need something, Scabber? <sighs> Fine. Yeah. That's the thing with Diamond City. There's a lot of things going on at once, and it's like an overload of information for me which way we want to go, especially when I'm recording like this. <sighs> right. We'll go see Valentine first, see if he can help us with our son, then we'll go see Piper, and then we may back go back out into the wild. Hardware Town is relatively nearby to get the uh, green paint for Abbott. And then apart from that, we'll see what uh, direction we can go in. But uh, yeah, obviously feel free to comment what do you think of um, Diamond City. If you're playing the game yourself, that is. I didn't even kill him with that. I have another suppressed uh, weapon, by the way. This is a suppressed uh, 10mm pistol. It's quite weak. What's your name anyway? I can't even target you. Wow. Oh well. Yeah, anyways, this is um, Anvil for Fallout 4. Hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you all take care. I'll see you for more of Diamond City's exploration in the next video. Until then, bye bye now.